Hi, my name is Maureen Maureen Charlton. I live in Cornwall in the UK. Today, what I'm going to share with you is how to add a form to enable people to opt in to something you're sharing. So for example, you might have a website or a blog post and you might want to say, drop me, drop in your email if you want to know when there's an update to my blog or website, you might want to say, would you like my 10 top tips? You might want to say, um, would you like to know when there's something new on my website or on my blog post? Do you want to be kept informed? Drop in your email be below. Now I'm using Zoom to do this video. I'm gonna download it to my PC and then I will upload it to YouTube so I can share it to everyone. So I'm now going to share my screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Share. Uh, down. What's that now? And hopefully you can um, see my desktop. So I'm gonna log into my now lifestyle. Mm. Move that down, log in, log in, set the coffee. <laughs> it's nearly 6am in the UK at the moment and it's a bit nippy. I've got my log burner on, I don't know if you can see it. Yep, it's going, got my log burner on. <laughs> okay, sorry, distracted there. So I'm going to my digital products, I'm going to my email autoresponder. And I've actually got a list um, called list or campaign. So I go to campaigns because I can't remember what it was called. So I need to look. Uh, yeah, blog post. So I know that these people have subscribed to my blog post. I've got to be honest, I haven't used it much. So I'm now going to go to my forms. Which I've already created previously. Make sure I've got the right campaign, which is blog post. Move this down. I mean, yours might be um, no results found. Okay. Okay. Going. She was another campaign where I know I've got a form. Well, we just did all in, heal all in earlier today. So let me click on that instead. I'll have to update that other one. I probably haven't used it for ages. Probably why no one subscribed. Okay, so heal all members. Gonna hit that button to grab the HTML code. Okay, my. Okay, I'm going to copy all this code. Now you can do it by hand like this, but I find that hard work. I usually select it all. I'm using a Mac, so that's Command A. But I think in Windows, you can use your right hand mouse button and select all. Command C to copy it, because I'm on a Mac. Okay, so I've copied my code basically. And I want to pop this code in my um, blog post. So keep in touch, please drop in your email if you'd like to be kept up to date with, this, with new posts. Ooh, I want H, HTML. No, just paste it in there. Preview. I'm going to delete that one. Ooh. Remove that block. And then preview. Yeah, it's there. So if I was to enter my email, .tolton at gmail.com. And notice I've put in a different email than what I did previously when I was testing my campaign. Oh uh, yeah, I've got too many. Okay. Let's try. Morning. Dot. Tom. 
comes time. Um, basically, because I've tested my own, and it already exists. But anyway, you get the just the things. That's basically how you um, would add your form. Stop share back to here. That's basically how you would add your form to a website. So people would subscribe. You would have a list or campaign in your autoresponder. And then you would set up some follow-up messages and you can also send a daily broadcast message. And these can go out like two weeks ahead, every day, the next three months, the next year, if you'd like. And, you know, the broadcast message I, I basically use for real time and the follow-up messages, they don't change very much. You know, I'm always going to be me if I'm saying let's connect. Um, tips will probably stay the same. Anyway, I hope this has been beneficial. It'd be really good if you can hit the like button. Even great if you could um, leave a comment. Give me a shout out if you need any help. Always here for you. And have an awesome day. Big hugs from Cornwall. Bye for now.